life. And so they're like, they heard everything. And then everything goes silent. So then McAllister walks out and he goes right up to Sophia and he asks her, will you leave with me? And she, of course, says yes. So they're going to be together. So they move into a home like right outside of Cape Hill and they start their lives together. And so at the end of the book, they do an epilogue, kind of give you a little preview into, you know, the next portion of their lives. And he asks her, um, would you do you want children <clears throat> and she's like huh <laughs> like that's an option and he's like no i'm asking you honestly do you want children and she says i mean i didn't know that was an option you already have kids so i didn't think that was really an option and he says i would like the chance to do it again because i failed horribly <laughs> with my first two sons and i would like the opportunity to do it again so she doesn't say anything else um but i'm quite sure she's all down for it and then um he makes a statement that you know she's kind of in between names like she's not an albi and she's not a lynch um but he plans to rectify that because he's gonna make her a hell so that was a really sweet ending to it um it was super good. Um, I think they were just two broken people and, and they found great solace in each other and they understood each other. Like all the twisted parts, they got it. And so I was happy that they wound up together. Um, so this has been so much fun, guys, going over these books with you. Um, I'm going to do more. Um, we will do more series. I'm going to do a couple of standalones. Um, and then I'm going to get you into another series that's just as sexy and twisted. <laughs> And exciting <laughs> thank you so much for joining the always reading book club uh, make sure you like share and subscribe leave comments on the discussion board leave comments in the comment section i appreciate all your support see you later